Good morning. Uh, my name is Meg Fora. I'm an occupational therapist and I work with babies, little ones who are very fussy and have sleep problems. In my experience as a mum of three and in my practice, I often find that parents want to know why it is that their baby is behaving like they are. Um, I'm not sure if it's happened to you, but I know when mine were little, I used to go to mums and tots groups or, or clamber club groups and noticed that my baby wasn't exactly the same as the others. Um, with my second child, she was wonderful. She was such a breeze, I'd pat myself on the back and think, I'm a wonderful mum. But with my first and third children, I noticed that they were different to the other babies. Some babies were just doing things sooner than they were, were settling sooner, maybe slept through sooner, and it made me feel quite inadequate as a mum. I know the same is probably true for you. You're, you'll either have a really easy baby um, who sleeps through early, who doesn't, doesn't have colic, and who just really makes you feel like a successful mum, or you may have one who's a little bit more fussy. Now, what is this all about? Well, many people put this down to a baby's personality. So what is personality about? Well, personality is made up of, of the way you nurture your baby, how you look after your baby, and a little bit about their nature. And in fact, it's not just a little bit about their nature, but in fact, a whole lot more. Um, I believe that a baby's nature um, or, their or their own temperament has a big bearing on the way that they behave. But underlying their temperament um, is something that we know about as occupational therapists that I think is something that's really useful to know about as mums. And that is the sensory personality. Basically, your sensory personality is the way that you respond to the world. So the amount of information you take in, how you respond to it, and also whether or not you perceive sensory information as threatening or something that you can quite happily cope with and that um, is something that, that's good. For instance, we need to be able to eat new foods. Um, if we were threatened by every new food we ate, we'd have a very limited diet. So normal sensory processing allows us to explore the world and be happy in the world. But of course, everybody's different. People do process sensory information differently. And we're going to have a look at the four different sensory personalities um, that I've come up with and that I go into great detail about in my new book, Your Sensory Baby. So the first sensory personality is the social butterfly. Now you will know that you have a, sense, a social butterfly if you can't take a walk down an aisle and a pick and pay without everybody stopping to chat to you. Social butterflies entice the world in. They want to interact, they're happy babies, um, they're very, very busy. It can be very frustrating to be a mum of a, of a um, social butterfly because they are exceptionally busy. As toddlers, they're chaotic, um, they're on the go, they tend to crash and burn, so they'll be running along, playing, and then falling more than maybe other babies because they really just seek a huge amount of sensory information. Um, social butterflies are great fun. They're good to be around, but they can be quite a challenge. It's difficult to get social butterflies to go to sleep. Um, they resist routine because routine is boring. Um, and mealtimes um, for toddlers who social butterflies becomes a real nightmare because um, sitting down to eat a meal is actually quite boring for them. So that's your social butterfly. The second type of baby that you might have is the slow to warm up baby. Now the slow to warm up baby um, really takes the whole world in before they interact. So unlike the social butterfly who is gregarious and just wants to interact, the, the slow to warm up baby susses the world out before he decides whether or not it's safe. So everything is, is um, guilty until proven innocent. So your social butterfly, um, will, um, your, your um, slow to warm up baby will actually um, not want to eat new food, will not want to engage with new people. Um, if you take a, social, a slow to warm up baby out of their comfort zone and you put them on holiday and um, their sleep will go out the window because they're not sleeping in the same place. As toddlers, I call them Velcro babies because instead of going out to explore, they want to be really close to mom. So they attach to mom all the time. And the reason for that is that mom is safe space. So mom is predictable, mom is safe, we know how mom um, responds, and mom can read our signals. So we don't really engage with the rest of the world. However, once a slow to warm up baby is happy and um, secure and knows that there are no threats in the environment, he can really look like a uh, social butterfly. Um, so he becomes more gregarious, he'll explore more, but he only does that if he's feeling really safe. So the slow to warm up child you could call your shy child. Um, and this baby can be a little bit of a challenge to parent because um, sleep often is difficult. Um, they become very fixed in their routines, don't like to waver. And if you throw a routine out, um, if all, everything goes to pot. So if you're late with the bottle or the bottle's the wrong temperature um, or the meal is just slightly more lumpy than they're expecting, they really can throw a complete, complete frothy. Um, so that's your slow to warm up baby. Um, a fun baby, but initially has to suss the world out, a little bit more shy. So that's your social butterfly, your slow to warm up. So what are your other two types of baby? Well, then you've got your sensitive baby. Now, the sensitive baby is a very, very tough baby to parent, particularly if you're a first-time mom, because you actually don't know what you're doing wrong. 
The sensitive baby is sensitive to the entire world. Just wearing a vest can be a challenge for them. Putting on a little hat can be really difficult. Um, breastfeeding often um, poses challenges because um, breastfeeding is a very sensory um, experience. So putting your, your baby to your breast, he has to be able to tolerate your skin, tolerate the shape of your nipple, um, and and also control and understand the flow of milk that's coming out. So your sensitive baby can be a, a difficult breastfeeder. He battles with bottles because um, he gets stuck on a certain teat. So um, if he gets stuck on the tummy tippy teat, he won't move on to the nook teat or whatever it is. He's also extremely sensitive to um, sensations in his mouth. Um, so introducing solids can be a challenge. Um, and in fact, with these babies, I don't recommend introducing purity ones because the very smooth foods can end up creating real havoc later on because they won't move on to the more lumpy foods. So your sensitive baby is sensitive to everything and if this is your first baby it can be really difficult because you feel like you're doing everything wrong because your baby is so sensitive. Of course the settled baby is on the opposite end of the continuum. These babies deal with all sensory information with absolutely no challenges and they love interacting with the world, very very happy. And they're different to the social butterfly in that they don't need social interaction so they're quite happy to be sitting on their own, um, they're quite happy to sleep, they um, generally are the babies that sleep through really early. Um, they're the babies who deal with um, introducing solids really well. They breastfeed well. And generally, they're just very easygoing babies. Occasionally, their developmental milestones are slightly slower because, well, they're just so chilled. There's no need to start crawling too early because they're just so chilled. So these are very chilled babies, your settled baby. So there you have the four sensory personalities, the slow to warm up, the social butterfly, the sensitive baby, and the settled baby. At the Baby Sense seminars this year in October, September and October, so, sorry, August and September, I'm going to be going into quite a bit more detail on these different sensory personalities, and we'd really love to see you there. So, to learn more, you can get my new book, Your Sensory Baby, or come along to the Baby Sense seminars. Thanks for your time, and enjoy your precious baby.